Uh, hello, today we're going to be solving exercise 10.2, swap pairs. Uh, so essentially what the problem wants us to do is swap every two terms in an array list. Um, if it's an odd size, then we'll just leave the last term as it is. Uh, okay, so the first thing that we need to do is make the method because this is a method problem and they don't want a complete program or class. And since we're not returning anything, we're going to just leave as void. Uh, so yeah, public void, and then they want to name that swap pairs. And then uh, we'll be taking an array list of strings as our parameter. Uh, I'm gonna just call it list for this demo. And then uh, the idea we want to do is we want to be able to uh, swap these pairs and then while also taking into account the even or the odd situation. Uh, so, the, so the quickest way to do this is just to have a for loop that goes um, every two, but we start from the second um, index. So that way we're going, um, so that way we skip the last one and we won't encounter any exceptions and things like that. So we're going to start at four int i equals one, not zero. And then uh, i is less than list.size. And then uh, i plus equal two, because we're going by every two, because we're swapping every two terms. Um, OK, so now we're going to be using um, a temporary variable. Uh, we'll just call this temp. And then we'll be saying this equal to list.get i minus one, because we start at one. So we need to get the first element, which is zero. Uh, and then, yeah, all that's left is just to swap the two terms. So uh, we'll be doing list.set um, i minus one, because we're going to be swapping the first term first. And then we're going to set that equal to list.get i, which is the second term. And then now we have the second term in both the first or I guess the zero and the one, but we want the first, we want to swap them, not just like replace it. So we're going to set the um, list.set i, which is the second term. I know it's a little confusing, but um, this is the quickest way to do it. So list.set i should be equal to our temporary variable. And then, yeah, um, our code looks good. So we should just go ahead and test it. And as you can see, we passed all six tests, so we're done with the problem. 